In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. My name is Joel Robinson. This is my friend Tom Servo. Yo! Hey, have you seen uh, Crow lately? Um, I uh, think he went out. You know, you seem kind of different. Did you get a haircut or something? Nope. Just Tom Servo, sleek and slim with a transparent head. Well, I'm looking for Crow because he left his little billy doll in my room again. Toast and I'd like to toast oh. Oh. oh, there he is. Hey. Good to see you, Crow. Well, hey, Tommy. Top of the morning to you. Good morning. Uh, Joel, have you seen my Ugly Reader by any chance? What's going on? Uh, it's uh, Tuesday. Paranoid delusions. <laughs> it's treatable, you know. Yeah. Commercial sign! Commercial sign! Commercial sign! Loading Richard Basart remark. Richard Basart remark in five, four, three, two. Richard Basart now. I get it. I know no, what's going on. No, Joel, you don't get it. <laughs> you're crazy. I think you're insane, Joel. Crazy. We'll be right back. Toys in the uh, attic. He is Joel. crazy. Joel. You see, Joel, we reversed the mini data flow of our voice sequencers. Quite simple, really. I wrote the funny jokes. Yeah, you guys are about as funny as a urinary infection. Oh, WW and the Dixie Dance Kings are calling. Hello, Booby. I don't mean to rub it in, but we're entertaining a few celebrities here in the Deep 13 Grotto Room. Wow, look at all of the George Kirby just got here, uh, Dick Gaudier just arrived, well, Vicky Carr, just to name a few. Wow, what a party. <laughs> You know, Joel, our invention this week is made for men. But the ladies like it, too. <laughs> what is it? We can't show you what it is, but get this. We're wearing it. Oh, come on, you guys. You didn't invent anything. Well, that's what you'd like to think. It's comfortable, easy to wear, glides on easy, yet stays in place. I shower in mine. People say I look more confident, which results in more sales. <laughs> Shouldn't we be uh, telling them to do their invention exchange? Frank, you're ruining it for me. Today's invention exchange, sirs, is based on the premise that kids love to read the back of cereal boxes. That's why we've come up with cereal novels. Modern fiction, it's all part of this nutritious breakfast. You see, right now, Joel is reading Interview with a Vampire on the back of Count Chocula. Maybe later he'll eat some Anne Rice Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> read Kaboom cereal with Brett Easton Ellis's controversial yet all but forgotten American Psycho on the back. And for the more adventurous, you can start your day eating Lucky Charms while reading Thomas Pynchon's Gravity's Rainbow. It's magically obscure. What do you think, sirs? Joel, this week's experiment stars Casey Adams of Catalina Caper fame. Tell him about it, Lawrence. You got me. It's called The Indestructible Man, but first, I'm afraid you're gonna have to sit through another chapter of Undersea Kingdom. Oh, Frank, look, there's Jerry Van Dyke with his banjo. Wow! Jeff Hoover. 
Das Pickle. Das Credits. Park it anywhere, Crash. Red Rover, Red Rover, let B. Reeves Eason come over. Two directors? Hey, hey! The undersea, undersea kingdom for you and for me, where the men are in dresses. <laughs> we have to dry our swords out. Ooh, and around the clubhouse turn, there goes Beetlejuice up the front, and Crapound brings up the rear. Ooh, Monty Blue, that's a king. Hey, you kids, come in here with my pillowcases. Yeah, we know. Into the Valley of Death, right? The 600, we know. Do you hear something? Huh? It's UPS man! Mm. Long Cheney Jr., no! The John Bradford Exchange. Come on, guys, let's go get greased big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. Actually, it looks like Jimmy Carroll Black, doesn't he? Indeed, you know the grill. It's the bishop. What is this? Their yearbook? Editor, yearbook, two, three, and four. Burnout, three, and four. Known for his anthologies, Professor Norton, that is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Averill Harriman. Him? Diana, a go-getting newspaper. Oh, in other words, she fetches. Go I totally newspaper. didn't vote for her for homecoming. Uh -uh. Next slide, please. Ne thank you. You may remember him from the Cracker Jacks box. They opened him up and found a prize inside. Gee. The sailor's favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. President of Hat Club, three and four. Grandest of all, four. Uh, sorry, it never starts. Oh, there we go. Let's cut through the salad bar. Gin tanks are attacking. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Oh, so they weren't killed. Gee. Shut up, Diane. Now, let it go. You two get behind that rock. Billy and I will lead them off. Which rock? No, oh, they're watching North by Northwest. Western Union. In this gown. <laughs> hey, it's an old rock beater. From Beauty and the Beast. Hold me closer, tiny sailor. I feel the earth mm. move mm. under my hood. Mm. That's dirty. Mm. Oh, cheap, cheap, oh. really cheap. Boo. Hey, the interstate, Billy. Good luck. How'd they get off the cock duty cliff? This is wrong! Diana. Oh, gray water heaters that install themselves. I love it. <laughs> I'm riding shotgun. You are a shotgun. Oh. He -he. Oh. It's the Von Trops. Huh. There's a way out! There's a way out! mechanical men can't follow us through those flames. There's Scylla and Charybdis. Look, it's the Quad Cities. Ooh. Are you sure this is the lost continent of Atlantis? It, but Billy looks like William Frawley. What a story this will make for my paper. Your reporter discovered civilization 10,000 feet below the ocean. A regular Nina Totenberg, isn't she? So would I. Perhaps we'd better get back to the submarine before we run into any more of these strange people. Uh, perhaps you should get back to acting on the stage, Grant. Do they all have to touch each other when they talk? You're a better man than I, Gunga Den. The man who would be queen. Look closely, Mortis. 
Have you ever seen such people before? No. Everybody skip. I'll bet you they're in with Unga Khan. Look at that Matt Dillon. Hmm? Hmm. Hi! Which oh. one of us is he waving at? It's Jim Henson's Birth of a Nation Babies. Oh. Follow me! Look at all those horses under the sea. So how do they get them under the sea They're anyway? Seahorses? No. Oh, oh, oh! Ben Hur. Ben Hack. Charles MacArthur. Jimmy Smith. Ah, uh, here's a stop. Everybody get transferred. Okay, if things get tough, we'll all from Billy. Agreed? Cool. Agreed. Oh, it's like the end of a high-speed chase in L.A. Drive back to the sacred city and report to Sherrod, high priest of Atlantis, that we are returning with strange prisoners. Weird prisoners. I want to ride with Diana! Uh, you're a little late for the posse, fella. <laughs> the end. Oh. With Mark Spitz, Jimmy Smith, and Arazi, the French Wonder House. Open the gate and make some summer sausage quick. <laughs> oh, too late. Ouch. Open the back door, he can't stop. Here, wash and wax this. Thank you, sir. Oh, jeez, all I got is a crummy popcorn ball and some jujubes. Looks like a set the monkeys would end up on. Confident, dry and secure. Daddy has approached the city with strange captives. Strange captives? Weird captives. Who are they? We believe them to be agents of Anga Khan. Anga Khan. That sucks. There will be no peace in Atlantis. Can we break your hat open now and eat the popcorn? The of this evil you suffer, Anga Khan. Anderson, windows and wall, Doris. Before we could return and capture the strangers, the Volkites appeared and destroyed them with their atom guns. Uh, I wanted them alive. They are alive. Well, then everybody's happy. Well, then, shall we eat? There's Dutch loaf. Yeah, it's been a captive, Your Majesty, and we're heading for the secret city. Enough TV for you two. Now get outside and play. We capture the prisoners at any cost. Hi, Kiba. Oh, look, it's the three horsemen for the, no, the four horsemen, no, the several horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, Mother Superior jumped the gun. No. Story on ABC. Any relationship to Dick Cheney? I don't think so. Oh. Marion. TV's Marion from Happy Days. Sounds like the soundtrack is drunk. <laughs> Fleshman Jr., John Russell Jr., Lon Chaney Jr., Sammy Davis Jr., Jr. Samples Jr., Absorbian Jr. Lots of juniors. Fly, Russell, in flight. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon to long. Oh, that's cute, huh? Pollux Fen for your Denflinchers. Denflinchers. All of justice? That's kind of a gross exaggeration, isn't it? It's not a court of justice, it's a court of law. Uh. <laughs> Who is Detective Division? Hmm. I'm Lieutenant Dick Chasen. He's eating breakfast. This hadn't been a routine case. And to find the answer, I've had to put a lot of little pieces together. It's Parents Day at Attica. On the day most cases can be called closed. It was the day before the butcher was to be executed. Sam he was visited Quentin by his attorney, Crisp. Paul Lowe, in the death Crisp. house. 
It was at this first meeting the Butcher Benton case took its first switch. Jimmy Smith. Well, that's it, Butcher. The evidence against you is so strong, the government turned down your appeal. Oh, they you're still think your father's more talented than you are. You started round. And now you're still trying to throw me curves. Look, I don't blame you for being edgy, but get this straight. I didn't double-cross you. I never worked harder for a client. You mean you never worked harder for a client to get him sentenced? Oh, that hurt. You're a fool, Butcher. If you hadn't tried to double-cross Squeamy Ellis and Joe Marcella, they wouldn't have turned state's evidence against you. Touche. You had to get greedy. You wanted to keep the whole $600,000 for yourself. Which one's in jail? Well, that's sorry, and I don't blame him. Hmm. It was all your idea. You planned the whole job. You hired us. When you found out I'd staged the money, you decided it was time for me to die. Shh, mom's you here. Those two crumbs that turned state's evidence on me. You stinking rotten mouthpiece. That's Mr. Stinking Rotten Mouthpiece to you. Now look, what's the sense in not giving me the money? It's not gonna do you any good. Well, it's locked up in a CD. I have the satisfaction of knowing that none of you three crumbs are gonna spend it. What about Eva? Don't you owe her something? You tell me where the money is, I'll see that she gets your share. I've got a different idea. I'm gonna kill you and Squimmy and Joe. Then I'll take care of Eva myself. Neat. You sick-headed ape, you're gonna die tomorrow. Oh, that's right, I stand corrected. Remember what I said? I'm gonna get you. Suck All three of you. Wait, there's only one of me. Even for you, Butcher, that'd be quite a trick. Dead man. Okay, see you later. Hey! Remember what I said. I'm gonna kill you. All three of you. The butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. The thief, the cook, the wife, and... Whoa, Centerville. A real great place to bring your kids up. French dips. Back in Los Angeles, two men sat in a bar room listening to a newscaster tell his headline story. Oh, I've story. heard this joke. <laughs> played a big <laughs> butcher's threat to kill Paul Lister-Ean? Ellis and Joe um, Marcello, um, um, for their having turned state's um, evidence against him. Squeamy Ellis didn't seem happy over the butcher's threat. Neither I'm not happy with the butcher's threat. But they had figured, once a dead man, always a dead man. That's smart. Like a boy scout. This was one Oops. time everyone was in for a surprise including the entire police department. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go on. Hmm. Come on. Wonder what Billy's doing in Family Circus today. Wow. Prime cuts go on sale at noon. Building code under fire. Ah. Oh. You see the headlines, Captain? Teletype just came in from San Francisco. Here's the receipt for your paper. Set for 5 o'clock this afternoon. Like the newspaper say, he still refuses to talk about that still stolen money. Refuses to talk about that stolen money. Well, I still have hopes of coming up with something. Ooh, he said on the pen set. That's what I dropped by for, Dick. With Butcher's execution, the department's marking it case closed. That means you'll be reassigned. Hmm. I spent a whole year trying to break this case. As far as I'm concerned, Butcher's death is just the beginning. Could you reassign me with Pepper I, I can't prove it, but I think that Paul Lowe was the top man. And even though I have to keep working on it while off duty, I'm going to get low, Squeamy Ellis and Joe Marcelli. Hmm. Okay, Lieutenant. Officially, hey, I'm hey, taking you off hey. the case. Touch, touch. Unofficially, I wish you luck. Hey, you forgot to pat his head, Do me a favor. too. Keep me posted. Will do. Wait, isn't this your Thanks, office? John. I headed for Eva Martin. But then who did? She worked in a local burlesque house. <laughs> I'm a cop, and my job is to ask questions and get answers. All right, talk. So I decided I might as well start again with her. And I walked really, really fast. Morning. Either those curtains go where I do. Come in. Oh, hi, I saw your sister outside, you know, the quiet one. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you. Talk? You're a cop, aren't you? That's a good question. I can't even find a three-ton armored car, let alone the $600,000, and I've been on the case a year. Well, you're a crappy cop. Look, it's 9 a.m. and I'm dressed like this. I've Leave me alone. I've told you I don't know anything about the money. I never did. Benton's gonna be dead in a little while. I thought it might make a difference. I never knew anything about the money. 
Money, you know, medium exchange, storehouse of oh, value, Miss green. Bill, uh, I didn't even know Charles was in the rackets until the trial. I'll take it easy, kid. You're on, Eva. Hey, it's Al Jolson. What's he doing out there? So, uh, can I wear your clothes now? Boy, that burlesque house sure puts on a good brunch. It's a Jack Ruby planet. The Jack Ruby program. Oh, damn. It's my evil twin. Well, let's see here. GWM seeks leather man for... Oh. He's wearing espadrilles. Oh, even criminals have to punch in. What do you know? Ah, now I can drink. Honey, here's your wrap. Thanks, Mr. Lithgow. Anytime. New stuff killed. Oh, hi. Oh, mommy. That's his mother? What a dump. Who said that? A few moments ago, Butcher Benton, without revealing the whereabouts of the $600,000 stolen in the armored car holdup, paid for his crimes against society in the gas chamber at San Quentin. Walter Winchell's now, hiding behind the, the curtain. Today? Yeah, geez, I hate Howard Stern. Come on, baby. Don't waste tears on Benton. I feel so badly about Charles. If I'd known, maybe I could have done something. How about a drink? We could both use it. I just can't drink while she's working. Then how about a carob shake? Well, I've got some blanched peanuts here. If... Hmm. What's it's that? from Ed McMahon. Well, now what's the matter? They spelled my name wrong. It's from Charles. He told me to open it. Mm. Mm. Finale, Eva. Mm -hmm. All right. Jolson again. Mm -hmm. How about a steak after the show? No, he always Stop offers that. me beef. Dumb, stupid, dumb, the idiot. What is with me today? Hmm. Well, it says here, Dear Eva, don't eat too much, much steak, later. love Charles. Hmm. Opening the letter the butcher had given Eva found a map outlining a section of the city sewer system. It says Veracruz veins. was the spot where the butcher had hidden the stolen payroll. He replaced it with a $50 bill. And a pork chop. I guess he figured $50 to gain 600000 was not a bad day's work. Well, no one will be seated during the frightening letter folding scene. Better in a mutual fund. Excuse for a parade parade. This year we salute the Undersea Kingdom. I'm your host, Alan Thick, and my co-host down on the parade route is Mary Fran. Mary Fran, you said I could be Dick Van Patten. Uh, oh, sure thing, Dick. Okay, our first float is turning the corner on the Gypsy Rose Lane. <laughs> Gypsy, as you know, is this year's Grand Marshal. Oh, it's an honor. Uh, this float is a tribute to Ray Crash Corrigan. <laughs> and it's a good thing Crash isn't driving. <laughs> oh, that's right, Dick. Hey, look, there's little Billy. Hurry, Diane. <laughs> that float is sponsored by the American Dairy Association and is made entirely of recycled milk cartons. Dairy, you don't find it underwater, but it's got water in it. The ADA inviting you to enjoy dairy in all its permutations at least three times a day. Here comes the Florida Institute of Marine Biology marching band playing the popular love theme from the Undersea Kingdom. Ah. And here's a perennial favorite, the lovable Tom Servo from TV's Mystery Science Theater 3000. He portrays Dr. Norton's submarine from the Undersea Kingdom. That's right. Did you know, Alan, it took 18 seamstresses working round the clock three months to bring the plucky bot to life? It is the Mm -hmm. And Tom is filled with over 15,000 cubic yards of hydrogen. Uh, I think you mean helium, Dick. Following Servo is the American Pepper Association float. Hats off to Pepper. Uh, pepper, up your day with Pepper. The American Pepper Association invites you to try Pepper as a side dish. You know, Pepper was used in the miniature sequences in the Undersea Kingdom to simulate the ocean floor. Flames, uh, people are running around, fiery 
are shooting all, all the humanity. Uh, people are running and screaming. Uh, we've got commercial sign, and I'm just going to step into this doorway here. Two hundred miles. Away, <laughs> the case took another switch, which took the next seventy-two hours into one long, hideous nightmare. My in-laws came Dr. to visit. Oh. <laughs> biochemist was making preparations for a final experiment, which he hoped would lead the way to a cure for cancer. He'd been successful with laboratory animals. Oh, who hasn't? The last step <laughs> called for a human body. That's where I Dr. came Brad in. Shaw's assistant quickly made a deal with a local mortuary and returned to the laboratory with the dead body of Butcher Benton. Then he hired the winner of the Joe Flynn Lookalike Contest to come on down. Saw right under the seat. I saw right. You made good time. Well, I didn't waste any. Any trouble? Mikhail! So I just handed the money over and moved the body into your station wagon. That was that. <laughs> this That's is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Checking up for change. He's in good shape. Well, I hope so. For a dead man. We'll get other blood samples later. We'll run this one through fast. All right. But uh, first get junior samples. Now wheel him into the machine and then raise him. Right. Raise him with a good Midwestern value. Loyalty, hard work, you know. A little late for a CAT scan. We will sell no wine before it's time. <laughs> oh, he's a hungry little fella there, isn't he, little hungry fella? Mikhail. Elvis. Ready? Mm -hmm. You mean you're going to give him 287,000 volts? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll you're the boss. We'll check with that before we start dissecting. Turn off the lights. We need a dramatic effect. He just invented the light bright. Hmm. Ribs, that's what I'm hungry for. Mm. Oh boy. You respond properly and my theory is sound. You'll be more famous dead than alive. Like most artists. Don't yeah. switch. Give me Smiths. It's alive! No. It, no. Oh. oh. Bond meter. Oh. GE, we bring Lon Chaney to life. <laughs> Inspector Henderson and Captain Biggingham, working together for your future. I think it needs the electric light orchestra to bring it all together. El Dorado, El Dorado, El Dorado. You see, it goes all the way to 11. Oh, gee, get a garbage bag and a squeegee. Old man liver. <laughs> brought this man back to life. With coast! <laughs> the heart muscle simply responded to a terrific electrical shock, that's all. Neat. Yes, but it does prove that the cells still function. So, lunch? Dr. Bradshaw. Heal the child the within. The shock reaction, it can't last. His cells are multiplying now, if your theory is right. Bear. could keep that reaction going longer. But it's worth a try. Get the body out. How come I always have to get the body out? Coffee? Come on, get up for school, Faker. Come on, up and at him, rise and shine. Come on. Oh, jeez, I've seen calves liver cuter than him. Get some adrenaline from the supply room. Some handle nitrite, too. Hurry, hurry. A hundred percent pure adrenaline. Boy, Brad. I got electrocuted last night. Senior Wince has lived. Ah, uh, what am I smelling? Did somebody die in here? Oh, I did. Oh, uh, oh, oh, did I, did I go home with you last night? Oh. I have a glass of water. I'm really parched. 
He's got a saggy diaper that leaks. Yeah. Uh, you're right, I had that coming. Uh, you think people come back from the dead, you should see this lab around quitting time. <laughs> back to the butcher. He tried to talk, but the electrical voltage had burned out his vocal cords. Thanks for everything, he bye now. His brain. He knew who he was. He knew who he hated. Hey, I'm in here. I think he I use the downstairs. Kill Low, Squeamy, and Joe Marcelli. Hey, the wait. electrical voltage that Dr. Bradshaw had given the butcher had increased his cellular structure to the point where he was no longer a man. But made for a Dr. woman. Dr. Bradshaw's experiment had created a vicious, brutal animal with an almost inconceivable amount of strength. So we Dr. joined the Bradshaw L.A. Police Department. The butcher's regained life would last for only a few minutes. If refrigerated. Therefore, instead of calling for help, the doctor decided to handle his creation alone. Ah, uh, easy, Benton. Just relax. You relax. I'm dead. Oh, doctor, I want to try to help you. Do you understand me? You're in my laboratory. You're Milton, my brand new son. Carried out, you were declared dead. Hmm. I tried an experiment on you and brought you back to life, although I didn't intend that. Uh -huh. Now you've had a great shock. Now, now come and sit down. Now, 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 be quiet. Now, come and sit down. Come here. I'll fix you a nice coke. Be quiet. He tells. My hand. Oh. I can't wait until I'm in the boat next. Careful. His reactions are violent. How do you explain this? Uh, his reactions are violent. A hundred times. Mm. Perhaps uh. thousands. Mm. His strength is unbelievable. Uh. No, no, come. It's too late for the amyl nitrate. I want to get some blood samples, uh, make some tests on him, find out what's happened. Uh, get me a syringe. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good, now get me a sarong. <laughs> Love that one. Hmm? Relax, the first one's free. What the... Th oh, I get it, he's indestructible. Ah. You got my needle, you freaked out maniac. Why won't the needle penetrate the skin? The tissue must be nearly a solid mass of cells. How are we going to get Smoking the blood Smoking is very glamorous. Surgically, perhaps. <laughs> Surgically? Wait, I want a second opinion. Now, you can take it easy. You can't leave here now. I'm responsible for your being alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> You know, I really cannot tell which is more fun to kill. Oh, it's a draw. Hmm. Huh. Well, done and done. Kill two birds with one stone. Sorry, guys. Oh, say, you know if there's a breakfast place near... Oh, that's right, you're dead. Sorry, I forgot. This will be the day that I die. <laughs> Finally understand the lyrics of that American box. <laughs> oh, my shit. Well, he's wandered into a Mr. Balky's. Oh, let's see here. Licorice whips, jujubees, slow pokes, lawn chain, your junior mints. <laughs> uh, hello? Anybody work here? Can I get some service, please? Towards the end of this case, Captain Lauder and I found out the doctor and his assistant had been murdered. But I'm getting ahead of my story. <laughs> the butcher didn't know how he had been brought back from the dead, and he didn't care. He's under the bleachers. All he knew, he was alive. Kinda. A little. And this monster-made man started thinking about Los Angeles. The, the eyes of Laura Mars. Oh, I feel better now, say. This all coming back from the dead thing isn't so bad after all. Oh. I gotta tap a kidney. I'll be right back. On that very Los Angeles, Taquitos. I decided to stop playing detective for a little while. Dude I went looks to the like burlesque house to ask Eva hmm? to have dinner with me. I think I'm going to like it here. The butcher was dead, and if I got lucky, sooner or later I figured Paul Lowe would lead me to the stolen payroll. In a way, that possibility. Well, made everybody me on stage for the big Whoville number. Want some? 
It's not fair to watch the show from backstage. Next time, I'll pay a mission. I take it by that remark, you like my routine. Yeah, you're pretty good. For a guy. There's something well, like kind of spooky those. about watching like Casey Adams flirt, like isn't there? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. It shouldn't be hard for someone like you to get a job in a class spot. If you were a detective, I'd be willing to bet with a line like that. Your next remark would be, how about dinner? Well, not exactly dinner, but a hamburger might be a good idea. <sighs> Meet again? You're asking yep. in an official capacity. I can't say no. She's got a I'm off duty. For the past six months, all I've ever called you is Lieutenant Chasen. Mm -hmm. Do you have a first name? Dick. That figures. Mm -hmm. Give me ten minutes for a quick change, because you just made yourself a date, Lieutenant. I mean, Dick. All right. So why'd they go to Expo 67? No, that's Brazil 76, I think. Oh, the guy spares no expense. I haven't had hamburger in the front seat of an automobile with a guy in a lot of years. You're a cheap jerk. No, we'll do it more often. Yeah. Funny. I always figured a policeman wasn't really a human being. I mean, unless he was arresting someone or trying to solve a case, he was unhappy. That's nice. Pass me the jack sauce. In fact, everyone on the force gets fed up occasionally with the job they do. That's why we beat up Rodney King. Maybe we're more human than anyone else. We see so much trouble, we get to hate the world. But as long as the world's filled with people, there'll have to be men who enforce the laws. Uh, can you take me home what now? What made you join the department? Now who's making with the question? <laughs> no, honest, I, I'd like to know. Well, it's really a very short story. By Chekhov. When I got out of the Air Corps, I knocked around. <sighs> well, I went to work for an oil company. That's why I'm so greasy. One day, I went back to college on the GI Bill. Uh -huh. Just before graduation, I noticed all about the police department exams. Can I throw up out the window? I have one more question, will you give me a straight answer? Try. Am I still part of the Charles Benton investigation? And I mean, how? Right now. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. The department's concerned when Benton was executed, the case was marked closed. Inside of me, that's not good enough. I don't bother. All the $600,000 is still missing. A fast talking underworld lawyer like Paul Lowe is walking around a free man. Better? Sure, Someday, I'm better. No matter how long it takes, I'll get him and the money. Until I do, the Benton case for me is not closed. Oh, bravo. Yeah. bravo! Charles Benton never told me anything about the money. Well, I've been sure of that for a long time. Yeah. But how did you ever get mixed up with anyone like the butcher? Uh, well, I wanted a good lead brisket and... Started. It just happened. I had a roommate who used to date Benton all the time. One day she packed and left for Chicago. Benton carried a torch for her and he used my shoulder to cry. And he burned down the house. Knew, we were having dinner together and... Oh. A few weeks later, I was labeled by the police as this number one suspect and, and Benton's girl, but, but it was never like that. <laughs> I made yeah. only yeah. one mistake. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. It's a real yawn fest. You were arrested for the robbery of the <laughs> You had no idea how... Hey, hey, hey. Go. Oh, oh this sorry. Is going I just thought I'd stretch crazy, out a little. I only went no, out with Benton a couple of times. I was and all we ever looking. talked about was Mad in my own room. No. Okay. Last time I saw him, he tried to get too friendly and... That's when I told him he had the wrong girl. Then I had him electrocuted. Like I said, I already made my mistake. What about the burlesque house? Can we go I back there? Together. Please, please. What is this going to end, please? I'm getting really tired and uh, cranky. And I am so... I a beauty no, <laughs> not her life story. No, oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please oh, get rid of it, oh, please. please. After which... <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> really? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at him. And then one day I read an ad. Hey, have you no sense of decency? Women. Could you please end this scene? Yeah. Gee. You know something? It's like any other job. Yeah, where you strip. If you're looking for trouble, you, you can find it even oh, in a school room. Boy, oh boy. That's I hang out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why didn't you go on home? Yeah. Why don't you go on home and stop it? Oh, Joel, it's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I don't know about you, but I do eight shows a day, and at this hour, I'm bush. So do I. Oh, I see. The big brush-off, eh? Mind if I drive you home? 
Mighty Casey has no. struck out. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something else. No! no! I haven't heard anything about tonight. Not even the hamburger. <laughs> Kill them! <laughs> ah, Kathleen Tag. He made four telephone calls. Three of them didn't interest me, but one did. The one to Joe. Brick, no! Go! I watched go, Joe go, 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 meeting go, go, go. and for some unknown reason go. I began to get the feeling that this case go, was go, finally go, go, about go, go. to explode in my favor. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> uh, Aunt B, after dark. Oh, look at that. I see him stagger on two legs, but he's doing it on four. Now oh, that's his flea bag. Well, look who's calling names. At least I ain't a squealer, a stoolie. It's I David Mamet's adaptation of the Lockhorns. Right, that's enough. I'll take care of it. I want to talk to you. Okay, Mr. Lowe. If any future business you've got with this psycho, take care of it upstairs in your office. I'll keep showing around here. Sooner or later, he's going to get slugged. Cripple or no cripple. Vic oh. back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Ooh, she's covered with dead things. Ugh. Let me get this straight. So every table has a bottle of old smuggler on it? Yep. I need a shot. Go get one. After I talk to you. You sober enough to understand? <laughs> yeah. I run out of dope. I was going to make you cookies. Know, look, you used to be the best torch man in town. Well, thank you. Oh, I don't think you could crack a safe if you knew the combination. No job. Nobody wants me since I turned stakes on Benton. That's your doing. You oh. told me. All right, quit crying. Baby. If you can stay off that stuff long enough. You know what I can if I've got a job? How much? What is it? Pays five bottles a week. Where? Right near where he pulled the job. Say your leg, stop that. Two grand ain't much out of 600,000. The other expenses. Besides that money's plenty of money. Got kind of a Bruce Willis smirk there, doesn't he? Whenever I get another one. I'll do it. How soon do you want me to go to work? Dude. Set it up for tomorrow night. Let's us go. Mm -hmm. okay. It's like a criminal oh, temp point. agency. One. That's all the jobs up. Well, he broke his thumb. Okay, and your hand burns, sending uh -huh. a signal to your brain to tell you to move your hand off the electric heater. Oh, so in a way, pain is good. Otherwise, uh, we might be hurt and not know it and die during social studies. Exactly. It's all part of a bigger plan. Get it, Crow? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Okay, everybody knows there's no way a person could be indestructible. Rats. But just for fun, what would you do if you were indestructible? Uh, I'd uh, hammer nails with my skull. Uh, no, no, wait. I'd be a high-performance drill bit or... I'd, uh, I'd jump in a stump grinder to amuse my friends. Really? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh. Better yet, I'd rent 15 acres of wooded farmland and invite people to hunt me down for a small fee. Oh, good one, Tommy. <laughs> uh, how about this? Um, I'd invite college students to staple announcements and posters on me and uh, let them open beer bottles with my eye sockets. Oh, then I'd allow myself to be used as an ashtray. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. I'd wear a wolf sweater without a T-shirt. Huh. It's hmm. Peruvian. Huh? Real huh. itchy. Scratchy. But you'd get used to it after a while. Well... Well, listen, Croy, every indestructible fantasy does not have to be gruesome or horrible. Yes, it does. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, well, how about this? I go down to the corner every day and emulate myself for money, kind of uh, like a street performer. Yeah, 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 now you're right. cooking with okay. Crisco. Uh, Crisco, hey, I know, I'd bob for donuts in a deep fryer. Oh, wow. I got one. I date Sean Young and then cheat on her with Roseanne Barr. Oh, that's kid stuff compared to this. Now get this, I'd march right into the Department of Justice and take the Warren Commission file. Ooh, <laughs> well, I'd go to Rome and unveil the conspiracy between the mob and the Vatican. Oh, oh. yeah, well, I'd wear uh, white tennis shoes with black socks and just wait for kids to beat me up. Oh, oh my God, God. Movies. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, well. Huh. Meanwhile, I, in Giant Gila Monster. I gotta take a big indestructible whiz. Oh, that's <laughs> tasteless. Sorry. I may be indestructible, but I still hurt inside. <laughs> I lost my retainer. <laughs> Mammy! Oh, they were, they were singing Jolie, go away. Because I'm the wanderer, they call me the wanderer. The butcher was walking slowly toward Los Angeles. The killer awoke before dawn. He traveled through wooded hills to prevent being seen by anyone. Finally, he came to a quiet road. He stopped to get his bearings. Uh, whose woods these? I think her. no. He saw something else. Well, Jessica Rabbit! 
Well, the butcher in that rang a bell. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. He knew by the next afternoon he'd be in Los Angeles in plenty of time to catch up with the three men who had double-crossed him. Say, if I had a car, I could be in Los Angeles in time to catch up to the three men who double-crossed me. So... Uh, live around here much? Well, see, you're a real gentleman to be hmm? helping strangers in distress. Hmm? I hope you don't mind me using the babe here as bait. Why the dish isn't hey, she? But that's what she gets paid for. Us. Bait, that is. Yes, sir. She's a real shaker artist of my outfit. Carnival man himself. Just call me Connie. Art Connie. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, friend, we're in a little bit of difficulty here. Got a flat tire, brand new car, no tools in the back. Why, some of these he dealers make my car on. business look like babes in the woods. <laughs> hey, indestructible jerk. <laughs> I lo love this car. Huh. The time tunnel in color. Doug, Tony, where are you? My back. Oh, hell, holy. Uh, say, who you with, Frank? Uh, let it down. Let it down. I'm with Triple A. No matter who you with, friend, uh, believe me, I can do better for both of us. I'll make a fortune for the both of us. Oops. Oh. The silent scream. Uh, I'll write up the contract then. Be careful of the three in the tree and don't ride the clutch. Lie detector by Mattel. An hour later, the San Francisco Police Department sent out an APB. What do you see? Big typewriters were brought in and people were fed into the Squads them. were sent to various parts Scribes? of the countryside. <laughs> Really lame. No more of these donut right. jokes. <laughs> oh, pardon me, Tom. I've got to take an indestructible whiz servo. Oh, the sirens of Titan, huh? Kurt Vonnegut. <laughs> oh, it's the cannonball run! <laughs> hysterical girl had described. Excuse me, Each sir. Squad kept you reporting a killer? Back to Central what headquarters, the hysterical girl described? Each of their stories was the same. So far, none of them had spotted the car the killer was driving. Sam Sneed. Orders were given to shoot to kill. Shoot it down. Because from the girl's shoot further kill. accounts, they realized they were dealing with a maniac. Who was dancing like he's never danced before. Whoa. Yeah, I'd like to see your license, sir. Take it out of the wallet, please, sir. Huh. Mind if I play through? <laughs> huh. Well, I suppose they do those things. Money, revenge, money, revenge. Honk if you're indestructible. If you were indestructible, you'd be home by now. Oh, wall drug, 2,000 miles. Gee, if I could only read. <laughs> yeah, he's indestructible, but he needs a light wrap, you know. Oh, the boy gets cold. More for the looks. Hall of Justice, over one million served. Captain J.I. S.D. Lauder. I trust that this information will answer all of your questions. If I can be of any further service, let me know. Your total is 435. Please pull ahead. Another all point from CHB, Captain. Now, we got this bill from Winchell's. Uh, it's in the six digits, so you have to sign off. Wait, who's ordering the specialty donuts? Hold oh. it a second. I hit them. The reports sound like they come from a bunch of loonies. Sure That's do. that Barney Miller. Yeah, <laughs> Sergeant, yeah. I want Lieutenant Chasen to look these over as soon as he comes in. All right, Captain. It's some poetry I've been working on. The next morning, I read the stories of the brutal murder of the two police officers. Really mm. picked me up. I also read the witness's statement yeah. about the bullets having no effect upon the killer. It's running in 84 mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. New petitions against tax. 
I felt sorry for the witness, and I thought about how easily a person's mind can become confused when suddenly they receive a brutal shock. Then I, I didn't went believe lunch. a man existed who could not be stopped by a slug from a 45. Good morning, Captain. Oh, excuse me. You and the rest of the force are going on 24-hour duty. All right, yeah. Oh. Hey. Headlines? You mean this guy that's running a mock up north? Yeah, and he's running a mock, well, too. Latest report, he's killed two police officers. Made a getaway in a green coupe heading south. When he gets up to four police officers, we'll do something. Hunch. This killer's gonna be our baby. I noticed you knitted Look, a little blue holster. Right now. Yeah. Better get started, Lieutenant. Okay. okay. I gotta stop at Bargain Clone first. Any new leads on that hold of money? I think the girl can probably be counted out. If any of the others are wise, they're keeping mighty quiet. Well, let it ride for now. The whole force is gonna be on the spot until we catch this killer. They're doing Camelot across the lot. The newspapers will have a field day. Hey, shut up over there. <laughs> Grandma! Hey, who says oldsters can't stay active? Gray lady down. All hands we on deck. about two things. The killer was already in our city, and we didn't know he was Butcher Benton. He headed straight for Eva Martin. He went to her dressing room to get back the map he had left in the envelope with her. He wanted first to check his money, then catch up with Lowe and the And others. if anybody's interested, he's got to pick up his shirts at the cleaners later, too. Hey, I'm voting in here. Oh. And then you were dead with the. Oh. Honey, I'm home. Oh, well. Can't be. I know I'm a little under, uh, over, uh, I don't know how I'm dressed, but. You do look like him. You do smell like him, too. I get from somehow. Carl Ballantyne? Mikhail. It is you. Why didn't somebody tell me? Uh, no, but you're not now. I need Captain to be Charles. up right now. Those look like bullet holes. Well, I could Are patch they? that up easily. I have a needle and thread. There's not even a mark. Hmm. Darling, have a I think scissors beats hand. Yeah. See there? Look, get it? No owl. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Ah. Now watch this. No paper cuts. But you speak in riddles, Sahib. I opened it like you told me. I found the $50. I had $51. What happened I, to my dollar? I didn't know why you left him. Oh, Paul didn't know why he was here. Oh, focus! Whoa. Hey! Lay's hey, potato chips. No one could eat just one. What am I doing? Don't, don't, don't say crazy. The name of Paul triggered his hate. The name Gary made him he happy. Go figure. Started for Squeamy Ellis and Joe Marcelli's place. Because he knew hey, with them look, out of the way, Paul Lowe couldn't open the strong what? box where the uh, money uh, was hidden. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, he I think that's a J. Crew bar jacket. Thank you, Paul Lowe for last. Ooh. Hello, everybody. I'm Gypsy. Let me entertain you. <laughs> See, scroll days. Oh, oh, okay. Travis Bickle, taxi driver. Well, maybe I could just take out a loan for $600,000. I gave him money for taquitos and now he's gone. Um, did you see an indestructible man walk past here? Oh, I'm good coming up. Thank you, Shoeshine. You're humble and lovable. Yes, sir. Weird. With a, oh, say. Oh, that's my change leg. Oh, gentlemen prefer change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> prefer legs. Yes, um, I'd like to order that diamond studded Please, necklace can and I the gold. Can I buy your eyebrow pencil? Um, sure, but I've got pink eye. Operator, let me please headquarters. Why should I? What's in it for me? And the operator says 40 cents more. When do you expect? Uh, 
Well, does he have voicemail? Is alive. And, and even bullets can't stop him. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Oh, is this two not? Oh, I'm sorry. I have the wrong number. A friend of Charles, he'll know. Here, I'll blow it out your heart, sister. I got the dead women. Eva telephoned Squeamy mm -hmm. Ellis. She tried to tell him the butcher was Don alive. Don Rickles. And on his way over to <laughs> kill him. Squeamy didn't believe her, and in a way you couldn't blame him. How? Who in their right mind would believe a man had returned from the dead? Only millions of Christians. What Squeamy no. actually believed mm. was that the butcher, before his execution, had hired a killer to carry out his threat. Oh, just like FX. And FX too. Oh, good, a Dr. Pepper lip smacker. Hmm. Honey, how do I get Nathan Detroit to marry me? What? You don't look so good to me. Well, you don't look so hot yourself. All right. Save her. I could take over the matinee trick for you. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't what? you? It's easy. Just save her. I can do it. Yeah. No, no, please, I exude um, you. I think I just thought of something. Yeah? Eva agreed to let Whoa, Francine Whoa, what happened to her voice? I don't know. She hoped she'd be able to interrupt the butcher before he arrived at Squeamy's hotel. Gee, I hope or I'll be able to interrupt the that, butcher before... At least be able to warn him to stay out of sight. Well, at least be able to warn him to stay out of sight. You wanted me, Captain? For years. Yeah, I just had a rundown on those fingerprints of the stolen car up north. I got nothing on the driver who was killed or the woman with him. And uh, Camelot's opening across the street. A good look at these. Well, let's see. Oh, I didn't know you were an artist. You drew Binky something funny about these. Yeah, you got the nose all wrong. The boys in the lab can't figure it out either. Those are the killers. They were found on the steering wheel. Looked like they'd been stamped in with a steel die. A steel sure die? Do. Oh, and uh, I drew this pirate. These are butcher battens. What? They look the same to me. How do the lab boys explain that? Lab boys are delicious. The best is a twin brother. An identical twin could have the same pattern of whorls with only slight variation. Like Schwarzenegger and DeVito? Ever hear of the butcher having a twin brother? Uh, does that go to the tune of Alexander's ragtime band? Did. <laughs> Wouldn't explain these three oh. prints. No, fresh prints. You didn't pick up your message, Lieutenant. Some wacky dame called you. Joanne Warley! She says Charles Benton is alive. Then bullets won't stop. <laughs> Me and the boys get a big laugh out of that one, sir. If we buy the twin theory, who was she? Where'd she seen? Well, she wouldn't leave her name. It sounded kind of hysterical to me. Said she was a friend of the butchers. Eva Martin. Get over with the Follies and see what that girl knows. Yeah. And now get me a bag of taquitos while you're there. Some guys have all the luck. Some guys have all I the pain. I never do an assignment to the Follies. Yeah, shut up and get me a cup of coffee. And a prune Danish? No, a bunch don't of don't. unemployed Jack Rubies. He didn't seem to be in any particular hurry. No. Actually, he seemed like any normal person. Yeah, except maybe for the fact that he was indestructible. Hey, what's your goal? What are you doing? Sauté and simmer. The flavor can't be beat. Scanned the hotel building and then noticed the only exit from Squeamy's apartment. A no fire escape. Hey, Lon, could you pretend you got the DTs? <laughs> Poor yeah. sucker. Hey, who's playing the theremin? Hope I'm not coming at a bad time. Uh, somewhere in the world, the sun's over the air. There, most sweet booze tell me to the elfin king. No. He's not very good at spit takes. Hey, better get some work now. I <laughs> get some things to do. Ruth Buzzy? No, Oscar mm. Wilde. Uh, oh. He's oh. got little bird like movements. Chirpy. Die, Romeo, die. Romeo, we're for Romeo. Looks like a punk, feels like a sneaker, huh? This is just like Vertigo. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah, this has all the suspense of a Brian De Palma version of a Hitchcock movie. Oh. Oh, here comes Brick. 
a Brack. Hey, look, John D. Rockefeller saves a Kmart. <laughs> Not surprised. Out of the way, Carl Sandberg. Kind of stupid. Oh, it says wait, wait, says wait outside. What the, oh, gee. Mm -hmm. I was limping in Memphis. Cute. Ooh, Jane, stop this crazy thing. <laughs> clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Plot, <laughs> plot, plot with the plot. <laughs> mm, there are so many places of historical interest on this route. Mm. Looks like she's dressed for a shift at Hardy's. <laughs> Here by Shemp Howard. Hey, look, the Jodes are waiting for the streetcar. Oh. Towels furnished by La Towel. Um, hi, anybody want comps for tonight? Oh, up on Cripple Creek, <laughs> it sends me a fast spray. Ooh. Whoa, foot don't fail me now. <laughs> Hey, look, you pay for the cookies. I'm just trying to find a way to drop them off. Acme Collection Agency, uh, sir, uh, you're three months behind. Give me that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, he just killed Recessa Annie. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Stop, or the Foley artist will shoot. Father Karras! Reagan! The butcher was figuring his next step. And as he there looked at is. the dead cop and thought about Paul Lowe, the next man on his list. I could have been at B. Dan Francis, baby. Last night when I told him I didn't want him around here no more. Give me a shot. Has there been a Henry Chinaski in here? Ray Walston and Ruth Warwick in Barfly. Well. So, uh, Scotch? Look, I need help. I'm Red Buttons. Just found out that Benton hired a killer to get me. He's after Joe, too. Then well, then drink up and get out. I don't want no trouble around my place. Yeah. You're a real pal. Drink up and get out, I said. Packed with minerals, booze really satisfies. Mm -hmm. Could I lick the glass? Oh, Wendy. A directory for the alley. Well, each bum has a listing there. Look at all the neat shops. Going up, Mr. Cheney. Uh, next up, the food court, Taco John's, one potato, two, great American hot dog experience, Puffy's. Puffy's? Well, I may be indestructible, but I'm ruled by my tummy. <laughs> it says lunchtime. Hey, could you imagine a big indestructible snag off this uh, thing? Oh, kill so somebody. Weird. Snicker snag, triple. Ooh. Hey, that's Occupado, pal. Hey, look, he's in the cleaver den. Excuse me, just adding a few loose ends here. Look, he's casting Richard Nixon's shadow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal a few post-it notes. Yep. You like to make a call? He's really very thorough. Now I'm gonna rearrange his filing system. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing a catcher's mitt around his neck. Okay. We'll be back after these messages. Need to shave. Jeez, hmm. uh, my appendix biased. It's Tom Landry. Squeamy, is that you? <laughs> I have a sweet tooth for revenge. <laughs> kind of an enigmatic smile. Hello. Watch me rock. So, uh, 
Smooth operator. I mind very much if you smoke. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. <laughs> hey, didn't you see the first part of this movie? Got him. <laughs> scream all you want, but take all you scream. Linda Lavin. Plop. Yep, he didn't come out of his tuck in time. Ah, oh, that's nice. I'm tired now, but it's a good kind of tired. Sarah, get me my pilot. Operator, get me the police. Police! Yes. Is it please or police? Come on, boxcars. Baby needs a new pair of indestructible shoes. <laughs> what are they waiting for, a putty knife? Ooh. Kind of looks like rice. What's happening? Guy named Squeamy got thrown from the fifth floor. How oh, do they call him Squeamy? Got a mackerel. Customer of mine. <laughs> you mean Squeamy, Ellis? How many yeah, Squeamies do you know? Squeamy, no, no one else is. Ain't one enough? Wow, everybody's so touchy at the scene of a death. Mm. How can you pull the car over right now? I tell you, the bullet's never even faced. Oh, the whole cast is there. Oh. God help us when the papers get a hold of this. All right, gather around, everybody. Keep Lots to see. Around, Show's just starting. Me. We're going to stake out on Joe Marcelli. John I'd Houston. Like you. No. Lauder, I'm going to call San Quentin. Suppose Benton is alive. Every available man's been put on the case now. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Anything well, new? Remember when I got ahead of myself a while back? Well, we're at that scene now. San Francisco police located his laboratory in the basement of an electrical power receiving station. Bradshaw, what's he know? He's dead. And another man, too, his assistant. The lab is a shambles. So is my heart. Now we're getting some action from San Francisco. Benton's body never arrived at the mortuary where it was supposed to go. An attendant there finally broke down. That's not a very good poem. Meters are wrong. To a man he was unable to identify. The man was driving a station wagon. Oh my God! That's a symbol of American suburban life. Commissioners are on his, and the mayor's on theirs. How am I supposed to tell them that our killer is a dead man? They found a notebook in Bradshaw's lab. It said, "Ah." His experiments in with a professor Dwiggins at Caltech. I hope to hear from Dwiggins soon. Captain, reports from the valley on a hysterical woman. Reports the presence of. Oh, that was me. Excuse me. Let's go. There's a monster in the valley and he's prowling in the alley. Hey, check this out, Vern. When I let go of the steering wheel, it pulls to the left. Isn't that huh. something? We were just looking for agates. It's Ma Barker's killer brood. Okay, blow hard. There you go. You and your boyfriend had a little fight and he got out of the car to take a walk. Uh huh. You noticed that he walked down toward the sump area in the direction where you've seen those lights you showed uh -huh. out before. Uh-huh. What happened then, miss? Please try to tell us. Go. Well, I just sat there a few minutes, I guess. I was pretty mad. I was fluffing in my car, okay? And a loud crash, like like heavy metal, sort of. She's only a bus. From down here. I got out of the car to get a better look. I heard Jimmy cry out something. I couldn't make out Said words. Jimmy Smith's? Then... Down here. I wish she'd blink. The patch of light. Blink. Blink. It's really blink. spooky. Blink. 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 The zombie. Blink. Big man. Blink. Blink. Lifted Jimmy up. Please. Over his head like She's stuck in Marsha Mason mode. Jimmy screamed. Just once. Then blink. Please. Blink. blink. What's she looking at? I heard it. It sounded like I celery. I started running until I found this house. They let me use the phone. But I didn't have friends and family. Thank you, Miss. Can I have my tie back? No. O'Malley, see that the young lady gets home all right. Does it have to be her home? I'm kidding, of course, sir. <laughs> Paul Lowe, while driving to his office, heard a radio commentator report the murder of Joe Marcelli. And what shocked him most was when the broadcast identified the killer as possibly being the butcher. Low headed straight for Eva Martin at the burlesque. But who doesn't? Oh, you gave me a start, Mr. Lowe. Is this You're where Cassage goes? Oh, I'm taking her place. I'm going to wear a costume. 
What's it to you? I asked you, where's Eva? Hey, don't get physical. Let me hear your body I talk. Unless you a voice buster. I told you. Little Eva isn't here. I can see that for myself. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she's wearing fur to the loins. Ooh. That's where she is. Yes, sir. No, sir. Captain Lauder is still with the mayor. No, I'll get out of your office, sir. Yes, I'm, I'm putting the cigarette out now, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We, we know he's dangerous. Every angle. He's the other end of a Bob Newhart routine. Huh. Yes, sir. I, I'll tell him. Jim Bag, we have to swing by the 7 Eleven and pick him up. Well, Mr. Wiggins. What the hell are you doing? Here, man, I'll just wear my cop shoes home. <laughs> Thanks. How come there's powdered sugar in the way? Hey, cut with the donut, Mermark. <laughs> Hey, Cam, about bring it in. I want to try that Lon Chaney eye thing. Bring it in closer. More, more, closer. Come on. Come on, closer. Yeah, that's good. Okay. If I can't have you, I don't want nobody. Oh, oh Joe, what are you, you doing? I'm doing an experiment. Oh, I thought somebody would replace the monitor with a jack o' lantern. Oh, <laughs> oh, good don't one. bite me. It's fun. Oh, oh, well, you said bite me. Oh, cool. Good one. Yeah. Hey, Joe, yeah. can we play? Can we, no. we want to come in and play? Hey, can we, can we get another shot? Oh, 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 hey, does this bug you? No, that is this bug you? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. Uh, uh, Joe, you? better hey. come down here quick. Gypsy fell down an airlock and oh. her headlights dilating. It might be bad. Hey, I don't think that's even funny. Not even a joke about. <laughs> hey, Joe, uh, the magic call, and they're yep. pretty teed up. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, come on. Hey, ah, somebody's licking me. Stop that. Okay, okay, that's it. Come on, back it up, Camba. All right, that's it. No, every time I get something going that's fun, in run the Batinskis and stick their little metal nose and everything. Well, it's fine. You guys play. Go ahead. You're, you're the kings of everything. Go ahead. Enjoy. The little lady comes in here and starts throwing her butt around. What is that supposed to do? All right, forget I said anything. Maybe I will. Well, that's pretty good. They don't tell me you weren't looking at it. Well, that's not half bad. She's giving it right back to you. What have I wrought? Yeah, we'll be right back. You want some business, sir, too? Right, but it's not that bad, is it? I know, it's pretty good. Ah, chili peppers burn my gut. When Lowe came to us... That's what I'm asking. That's pretty good. Yeah, uh, hamburgers. Why can't we have our hamburgers? We meet Ellis and Joe Marcello. Go on. I like your peppermint tie. When he slugged the sergeant, he knew we'd book him right away. Uh -huh. Oh, this Lowe's a pretty cute character. But we can play the same game. You mean we'll threaten to release him? Well, not exactly. We'll tease him. You tell him you'll realize that he was excited, that throwing the punch was accidental. Tell him we're not going to make a charge, that he's completely released. Lieutenant, you know we can't do that. Lowell made his first mistake when he hit the sergeant, and that'll get him a year. As far as the department's concerned, at least it's a small victory. Now go away. My hunch is right. Lowe won't want to be on the streets with the butcher looking for him. And he may talk and talk a lot. Hmm. Enough, maybe, for us to get rid of him permanently. Even lead us to the butcher. Hmm, uh, psychology, eh? Right, enough, that might work. But if it doesn't... We're screwed, blue, no, and tattooed. I want him out of my way so bad I can taste it. But not bad enough to be responsible for getting him killed. Right. The good thing about that, Captain, is the fact we know it. But Lowe doesn't. Can't resist it when you put it like that. Let's give it a try. All right, Lowe. All right, Otis, come on out. And we need you for another real talky scene. I think you'll find everything in there. I think you'll find your papers in order. You're free to go, Mr. Lowe. Wow, a leather wallet, and I was only here for an hour. Do you think you're kidding? You arrested me for assaulting an officer. <laughs> I remember you. Or don't plead guilty. With luck, I might get off with six months. Wallet? For a lawyer, you're forgetting a very important point. I care the world for you. The charge is made, there's no trial. It's a tough day for everyone. We figured your nerves were on edge, and when yeah. you threw the punch, you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. I've squared everything with the sergeant. It's all over. All forgotten. Kiss, kiss. Huh? You're a good man. Why'd you bring a stenographer? Simply because I wanted a record of our conversation at the time of your release. Check out the narcoleptic. Buddy. Okay, Lowe. Buddy. Go. Oh, wait a minute. He's a sleeping policeman. What's that on those streets, and I'm a dead man? If you let me go, you'll be responsible for murder. Don't come off it, Lowe. You're imagining things. You know the butcher threatened to kill me. Buddy. Set me free, he'll do it. Well, that's just a Bob, you getting any of this stuff? Bob! Bob! 
You'll be okay. Look, Captain, I'll make a deal with you. You in the movie right now? I'll talk. You keep me here, and I'll tell you how to recover the money. Maybe even catch the butcher. No deals, Lowell. You'd probably tell us anything. Just stall for time. Am I that transparent? Come on, let's get out of here. Now, wait a minute. Okay, now. All right. I'll tell you the truth. Start taking this down. You know, I really am a cop now. This is great. I... Okay, get this. Follow in a hole in the ground, there I lived a hobbit. Squeamy Ellis and Joe Maselli to pull off the armored car. Uh, can't I just make it up later like we always and do? And then Lowe continued with his confession. He told Seen us about it. finding the map. He showed us the exact location of where the butcher had hidden the stolen payroll. And he gave us a most important answer. The Beatles. The explanation as to how the butcher was able to elude detection. He's got a one-bedroom walk down with a skylight. Oh, nice night. Welcome to Marshall Field. The department went to work. Police department, thank you for your pledge. Every police squad in the police department, thank you. To cover a specific area. Every entrance and exit to the Los Angeles City sewer system of 700 miles. APB, big sale at Winchell. Joel, oh, stop. Squads headed for the entrance where, according to the map, Butcher had hidden the money. Our yes. job was to stop him, and that made me think of one specific question. Who built Stonehenge? When we found him, could this monster be stopped? I, for one, wasn't sure. Well, guess I'll climb into this Metallica video. <laughs> We can crash in my Nash. Cruising for burgers. <laughs> it looks like they're both standing. <laughs> yeah. I think he's somewhere around here. Everything nice baby moves. Mm -hmm. City engineers mapped out each possible exit. No, the car. Squad of officers are spotted at every point. The butcher can be caught. Now's the Scanners. Flamethrower. Oh, he's crying. Join our squad right now. See, we have one with us here. Have you thought about what'll happen if this doesn't work? No. Come on, hit him. You know you want to. Praying too hard that it will work. Mickey Rooney's summer place is searched. Ghostbusters. And so Philippe and the police crawl into the sewer and... Hey, quit pushing back there! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Norton! Are you a roughy boy? Um, Tad, I can see up your pants. Ooh. Ah, there. Ugh, don't even ask. You know, think of all the burritos they sell oh. in this town. <laughs> Randy Ruder rode a scooter down, down the, the city sewer. <laughs> the tunnel. Oh. You know, nobody needs to hide this bad. Mm -mm. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, he sat in it. Oh, oh, God, he jumped oh. in it. Oh, look out. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Kind of looks like the dog from Pogo. <laughs> Where's the men's room? You're soaking in it. <laughs> oh, we kid. <laughs> of course. Over here, boys. I got the poop on him. Oh. <laughs> I'm singing in the filth to sing. It's a gang of Sunday Night Mystery oh, movies. Stop it. Just stop it. Anything you say, Mr. Donut Joke. <laughs> Sure wish I had some shoes on. I'm Dickens. He's Fenster. We're cops. This is where we split up. I'll go straight ahead. I'll go with the guy with the bazooka. Hey, take a look, Chief. It's a boogie board. I know where they are now. Hmm. They're in Karen Finley's wet bar. Oh. Oh. What's Look that? what it says on the wall there. Oh, if it's that... yellow, let it mellow. mellow. If it's brown, yes. flush it down. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, found half a donut. Who wants it? Oh, boom. Not I had that. another sewer donut joke. No. <laughs> well, he's the life of the party. A minute. You guys can use fire, and there's all that methane down there. You know, this is kind of like the close encounters of the turd kind. Oh, <laughs> sorry. By the smell of this, I guess we're under bar stuff. Uh, I lost the sensor. No, you didn't. Now look, there's a perfectly good cabbage over there. Hmm, must have taken a wrong turn of the other right, we're off our course. We'll have to backtrack. Jesus. Backdraft? indestructible man. Oh, I think I just found the legendary goldfish graveyard. <laughs> hey, a wheat penny. Oh, it's the treasure of Sewer Madre. <laughs> <laughs> this film was originally in Odorama. I believe it. Huh? Baseball cards. This way. Now this way. Hey, it stinks, but it's still better than an SNL. I'll say. Hey, wait up, you guys! <laughs> yeah, let, let's sneak up on them real loudly. It's getting greedy. Hold it, Winter. I didn't have it. Him with chili peppers. They burn his gut, you see. I am indestructible, but that really stung. I love Lucy. Okay, for all practical purposes, almost indestructible man. Think of the donuts I could buy with this loot. You want to hit him or shall I? Oh, uh, you do it. I can't. I can't either. I wonder who the stool pigeon was. <laughs> Black and tarry night. Oh, light a match, you're right. This is like the end of Cape Fear. Now that put me off my dinner. You know, I'd rather light a single indestructible man than curse the darkness. Ooh. I think he's incontinent man now. <laughs> Electric monkey bars, great idea. Huh. Well, actually, now I think he's just the incredibly resilient man. <laughs> Not to be trifled with, man. Takes mm -hmm. a licking and keeps on ticking, man. <laughs> Harry Connick. Where? Oh. oh, hey, how about that? Oh, you guys should have gone while we were down in the sewer. <laughs> I just gotta keep telling myself I'm indestructible. I'm indestructible. Would you come here, please? Gadding about like a crazy person. You know, this is kind of like Macbeth, only it, it's, it's not good at all. Yeah, too long, hard to watch, bad luck for the performers well, who yeah. in it. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's all ruined now. I was indestructible, and now look. <laughs> I squandered my instructability. Let this be a lesson. Be courteous to those who are not indestructible. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you got a bit of it on your uh, mm -hmm. Ooh. I guess we're gonna end with a big speech about um, No, no I, I think he's gonna go to the woman and uh, No, he's good. no, I think it's oh. about the bomb. Oh. Well, that'd figure, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, he's around here somewhere. Oop. Hey, Mom's out there, and if she sees us, she'll make us come in. Mr. Walanda, don't let your family attempt the pyramid. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. Hope it's a shower. 
Choo Choo Charlie was an engineer. Sir, you're not union, please. The giant gantry now moves away from the Gemini capsule and its titan. Vertigo. He hijacked a crane. Oh, I think he's improvising now. He's completely off script. Hey, it's the world famous Duluth lift bridge. When in Duluth? Darn fool, indestructible kid. I'm glad I belong to this gym, but I don't know how to work the machines. Oh, he's gonna do that crazy glue demonstration. Mm. That's what it is. Gumby, get off the tower. Top of the world, Pokey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Liza. Well, you know, maybe he wasn't the title character. Maybe somebody else is the indestructible man. I don't Ugh. know. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it smells worse than the sewer. I'll say. So. The tremendous shock of electricity. Uh, buddy, camera's over here. $600,000 stolen in the armored truck robbery has been recovered. Case closed. So, you got the book rights, huh? Well, here are the scientist comments for your record. Sinus comment? Fill in a few spots with my own guesses, but... Yeah, I think it's pretty funny. Size of it. Did you get any sleep? Oh, some. Not much. How's the girl today? Well, I called the hospital about an hour ago. She'd gone. Gone? Where? She told him she was a working girl and that she'd been away from the job too long already. Ooh. <laughs> I get Quite it. Say no more. Yeah. Yep. Say, uh, how about that time off I've got coming? 48 hours, beginning right now. Ooh. It's resting. Yay! It's, yeah, it's, it's over! over. Yeah, it's over! Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Huh. Uh, okay. Epilogue. Epilady. <laughs> Epicenter. Epicac. The past 72 hours seem like a bad dream. That rest in the hospital today really gave me a new lease on life. And the jello was delicious. Now that it's over, Wind I... Wind it up. I Please. It actually happen. The important thing is to remember, it is all over. Thank, Thank God. God. I suppose you'll be assigned to another case. I'll have to give up hamburgers in the front seat of the car. For yes, they for the rest have me assigned to the illustrated man now. I've thought about that. In Stop. fact, I decided to do something about it. I started by talking the captain into a short holiday, and uh, just about an hour ago, I got you fired. Oh. What? Arf? What did you do that Say for? Arf. I figured that being my wife would take up all of your time. Oh, please. He should quit his job. Strippers make a lot more money, you know. I wanted to say no, I couldn't. Yes, you can. Rethink. You're not supposed Please. to say no to a detective. Let's get out of here. Uh, can I talk about a dollar in your G-string? <laughs> Skippy, read it, sign it, get on with it. What is it? It's an official affidavit stating that you will never again darken our portholes with crummy cop donut jokes. Well, it's not an affidavit per se, Crow. It's more of a contractual mandamus against a specific actus reus in which Sir, the Huh? Shut up. Sorry. Listen, you guys, I promise I won't do any more cop and donut jokes, but I'm not going to sign this silly piece of paper. Oh, uh, really, Joel? It's for your own protection as well as ours. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, you guys got to sign it, too. Okay. All right, fair enough. Now, read it aloud. Okay, uh, uh, I state your name. I state, state your name. Oh, you guys, now cut it out. That's just as bad <laughs> sorry, as doing sorry, donut sorry, sorry, jokes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, sorry. I'll read it by myself then. Whereas, I hereby warrant that I will cease and desist all jokes, quips, humorous anecdotes, bon mots, and other devices of repartee pertaining to exclusively and in general all references and observations direct or indirect pertaining to but not exclusively in description of law enforcement officials who ingest, solicit, consume, or hoard those pastries which can be described under the terms of the codicile codicil uh -huh. below as belonging to a non-specific group except in the common parlance as donuts, donuts and donut related pastries uh -huh. 
heretofore known as donuts. Uh, there's an exemption for FBI agents and muffins in the codicil. Yeah, we thought we could be flexible on that. Okay. For yeah. This agreement yeah. being enacted on this day and enforced in perpetuity, perpetuity. perpetuity throughout, throughout the universe, the universe. we hereunto yeah. set our hand and seal yeah, blah, blah. on the day so above mentioned. Okay, I guess I can live with that. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Very nice. All right. I'll have Gypsy notarize this. Gypsy's later. a notary. Mm -hmm. Stamp it, please. Okay. You know, my little friends are right, folks. Let's put an end to the hackneyed practice of cop and donut jokes. Thank you. Won't you? What do you think, sirs? Boy, isn't that the truth? You know, boys, I don't even like donuts. I'm not saying I won't eat them if they're there. Hey, tell them about the Chinese, man. That's right. Today we had Chinese food. Moogle got pan, and it was terrific. And you know, we're not all Irish either. Well. Kevin here is Irish, but me, I'm Danish. <laughs> I don't like you. Hey, cool, man. And you know the thing about the flat feet? <laughs> I got arches the size of the monkey house of the Brookfield Zoo. <laughs> and I got this bunion. Have you seen the size of the sucker and the side of my... Thanks for sharing, guys. Uh, can, can we help you? Uh, yes, sir. As a matter of fact, you can. Um, you can uh, show a little respect for your neighbors by uh, keeping the music down. And uh, next time, you'll avoid a citation. Just sign right there in the middle. It's these rock walls. The sound goes right through them. You know, if I had my way, I'd outlaw these subwoofers. That's right. Hey, uh, do us all a favor next time and think of others first, will you? Okay? Have a good day. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, until next time, Joel. Push the button, Frank. Did I see your gun? Frank? <laughs> By the way, was that your car out front?